When we utilize multiple components inside the Photoshop, for example, creating compositing, we can have a chance to run that color temperature is not necessarily matching between all of them. In this case, you probably want to kind of have it adjustments. Photoshop have it very nice tools built in, and it's located under image adjustments called matching colors. But it's not obviously work. For example, in this case, if we have a smart object, or for example, if the something effect not as you desire, for example, if we're going to create a new layer, and we'll go to image adjustment matching colors. In some cases, set luminosity, color intense, and fade. This maybe does not work how you want it. You maybe want to apply a little bit more subtle effect to this or specify something a little bit better on what area of the color. For example, right here you can see we have it slightly from back going a little bit warmer color, but overall it's colder color on the side. So if I want to apply this, Photoshop will have a little bit harder time to matching those colors because need to distinguish which one. As an artist, I can say I want to apply probably a little bit more colder color because it will be coming from inside lighting, not from outside. So it will be warmer on this side, but color matching for the model need be probably be more as on your left side. So to do this color matching, we need to use it curves and color adjustments. So let's create this. First, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer curves. This will be on the top. And I want to be sure this layer is clipped to the model below. Okay, you can do this by pressing Alt or Option key. While holding, you can move your mouse and you can see right here appear the arrow. Currently, it says unclip, but if you don't have it crossing light, it means it will clip it. Next, I want to take this layer and switch blending mode to the color. So in this case, only color will apply modification to this model effect. Next, we want to be take some of the samples of the colors that we have in our scenery. To do this, we want to utilize the color sampling tool. Be sure the sampler size, it says 31 by 31. However, 11 by 11 or 51 by 51 may work even can work with a single sample point. Okay, next, I want to be sure when I set my color measurement, I want to keep it information. I have it my info bar open on the side, so I have it my curve that I can modify an info, so I can reference a little bit easier. If you don't have an info bar here, remember it's maybe on the side, you can always just grab and drag and place in any group that you want it. Okay, so let's go back here. We'll open. And next, with the picker tool, I want to select a couple points. One, I select one on a model, so I just go select right in the middle. And this is, notice right here, we have a point one. And it gives me RGB values right on the side. Next, I'll probably go on the middle right here, set my second point. And this is for my second point. Now, to match them, I will utilize curve and we'll just go through each channel. So first, let's go to the red and red color. I want to create new point just on the middle right here. And my input values will be values that represent the object, which color I need to modify. And my output will be represent values of my reference color. So for this, I have an input. Okay, let's go select again. And we'll go select our input to 202. This is our input, and our output will be 110. Sometimes you'll notice right here we have it clipping areas, and you can get away with this, but in some cases you maybe want to touch up and just slightly adjust so it won't be any clipping occurred, and we'll do this in a second. So next I want to do green, and green will be same, 163. Okay, oops, let's create new point, I forgot about that. So 163. Three, and we'll have it one five zero. Okay, so this curve just a little bit better than the red one. So let's go now to our blue channel. Same, we'll create one, and we'll go one four seven, okay, and one four nine. 
So at this point you can see we add. Obviously we have it with a red channel quite a bit clipping ha happen right in this area. And sometimes what I find out even this kind of represents somewhat accurate color but it's maybe just a little bit offset. So for me I may create another point and just bring curve maybe back slightly up. So this is more kind of visual because I don't want to necessarily clip that information right here. I want to avoid as much in this one. Okay, so right here you can see we're matching and this is color matching right this area. Of course, if we move it a little bit more warmer area, you'll see our numbers is change. So you can apply a little bit better. But in this case, color casting is correct from this blue area casting on a person who coming. Remember, you don't necessarily need to use this color if you think it does not fit. You can always go and modify opacity and just bring maybe slightly more in, like right here maybe. Okay. As well, in this case, when our color correction is a little bit gradient this way, we can easily create another curve assigned to this side. And using blending tool and masking, we can kind of merge them together. So example, let's go select right here. We'll select a black. Okay, let's also set maybe about 20% opacity. And I can just paint in a little bit more on this side. So you can see I start color casting some other effect and applying a little bit better color correction. So again, this is kind of will start matching with other effect. Okay, we'll go right here. And on this case, our model is matching our overall lights that is correctly going from inside and as well some color splashes from the warmer area. Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. And please remember, visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.